so like I said, what what do you want to talk about? <laughs> no. What do we do today? What day is it? What day is it? No, let's not mention that. Um, um we went to Antigua. Antigua? Antigua today. Not Antigua? No, no. So we were corrected on that one. Uh, Antigua. And, and we had a, a tour book. Yeah. Uh, well, we had a tour book. And then it got cancelled because of operational services or something like that. So at the very last minute, we booked the... Swimming with the Stingrays. Swimming with the Stingrays. And Which like was a country drive. actually awesome. Awesome. It was awesome. Would highly recommend that. Big, big Stingrays. It's called, uh, Stingray, it's called Stingray City. And it's way on the back of the island. So you have to get a, yeah. a, tra a, a bus, an excursion. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a bit of a trek, bit yeah. of a trek, but it was well worth it. I personally thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, it's funny because we were snorkeling yesterday in St. John's. I thought it was amazing. There was a stingray, there was turtles, lots of fish, and he rated it a seven out of a ten. Yeah, today and I would give it was, more than seven. Got it. But today, the stingrays got up close and personal with him. I like it. Like a 7.1 I think Samantha no, wanted to get busy with you. No. She kept coming up right between Samantha his legs. Samantha was a stingray. Just like, I don't know. <laughs> I think uh, I would, yes, yeah, for me today was better than just basic snorkeling. Uh, the stingrays are big, you get to feed them. The, the guys running the tour were very good. Really nice. Dijon, um, and our driver was Romeo. Yeah. Well, yep. Not that that matters, but well, people. people might go on so to before the tour. before we did the tour, um, we did actually walk in the town. Cheers, by the um, way. Cheers. Cheers. We, mine's we took a margarita a, we took in a, fuego. A mine's a duck fart. Duck fart. Um, we went. We took a walk in the town, and uh, you get mobbed by people trying to offer mm. you tours Ooh. and whatever. Uh, so if you haven't booked a tour. Oh, Honestly, yeah, it looked industry. it looked pretty good. I I think the uh, you could save some money if you just took the tours that were on offer by the people that mob you when you get off the boat and walk into town. Um, I think the taxi drivers they're looking for tips. They don't charge you too much on the front end because they want a little bit extra on the back end. They'll take you to the various sites. Of course, if you're on a uh, like a snorkeling tour, they're not going to really want to hang around while you do that. So that might not work, but. I'll take your sight so you can tell you stuff. So, if you go to Antigua, if you go on a cruise ship, there is a, a strip, like a little mall, outdoor mall, if you will. And all the stores there are um, duty free, really nice things. I bought some um, some kind of like natural hand woven fabric and got a backpack and some things like that. So, nice things there. If you step outside, and when I say outside, it's very obvious where it ends, mm, then it gets a little, uh, not too sketchy, it's just not the it's a touristy transition. area. It's a transition, that's for sure. Yeah, it's not, the, it's not the touristy area. But if you're feeling great, but the people were very, very nice um, to the outside the tours. It's just that with COVID, a lot of the islands, it's almost kind of like a day by day as to whether or not you can actually go out on a uh, non- sanctioned cruise ship excursion. It varies day it by day. It varies day by day. So always check in with that. Um, Antigua at one point they said you couldn't do that. Um, but then that changed. So just take a look at that. Yep. Yeah. Um, but Stingray City is what it's called and it was amazing. And you, you take a boat out to the middle of this like a small reef. A reef. A yeah. reef on a pontoon and you Jump in, well, you, you step into the water, but it's you're above ground, you're above water. You take water. out a pontoon and then you climb on the pontoon and then down to the water. And, yeah, and these stingrays, and they're huge, huge. And then you can large. feed them. They're large. Well, they're more than your arms then. But they, they come up and they hug you, and well, it was the worst part of the You got a little up close and personal. Oh, and people always run around wanting to take your pictures. But highly, highly recommend. Um, also highly recommend this. My lips are buzzing right now. So 
So what are you what are you tricking again? Um oh I know, I know, hold on. Um, All he has to do is something, I don't know. So they have these really cool cards. If you go to a, one of the bars is called Good Spirits and they have a um, a little show called Mixology, and I think it happens three times a night. And if you order a drink off the menu, they'll do it up on the screen and they'll show you how to make it and then they give you one of these really nice thick recipe cards. So this drink is called a, a Santia en Fuego, Yucatan, but my lips are burning. More so than when well, I put the bee venom. This one has peppers in it, which I don't think belong in drinks personally, but uh, but it's got it around the, the rim. The beauty here decided she was going to go for it, just how the waitress likes it. Because it was the waitress's favorite drink. I have a little bit of And she loves to her. say, what is your favorite choice on the menu? I do. Um, because, because she drinks it every day. Or not, not caring that other people might have completely different tastes. But, uh, so, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. And we thought you would enjoy the Christmas tree here behind us. We're going to um, show you, we're also going to do on one of our sea days. We're going to go around the ship. We're going to show you all the Christmas decorations. And being that it's a brand new ship, we're going to show you some of the amenities. But uh, it's a beautiful ship, isn't it? It is. We're currently on its fourth voyage. Yes, fourth voyage out. And there are seven princess ships out of a total of 18 in the fleet, I believe is what I heard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so not just a little more than 50% are sailing right now. Yeah, not, not too many are back in service right now. Absolutely. Beautiful, and as you can see in the background, man, the tree is swaying just a little bit. It's lovely though, it's really nice. Alright, I'm, I'm having a hard time talking. Yeah, we're done. Because my lips are Until so Until later. Hot. Cheers, and boy,